Hey everybody, it's Jake, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about variable scope. What variable scope is, it it just means where can we access the variable from. So if we create a variable inside of a function, we can't access that variable from outside of the function. Let's just go ahead and create a function. So we'll do function, and we'll name this uh, fun. And then we, we won't actually create any parameters for it right now, but we'll come down in below here. And then we'll create a variable equal to, um, we'll do var1, and we'll just have that set equal to 20 or 45. And then if we come back, if we come out of this and we were to do print var1, then we save it, and we'll run it. You'll see that there's a notice here. It says undefined variable var1 in users. And that's because this print is outside of our function. So if we did this print inside of our function, var1, I guess I could have just cut and pasted that. Get rid of the print here, and then we just run our function. Save it, run it. You'll see that 45 was printed out because we can access it. So scope just means can we access it from where we're at. Now, if we follow this reasoning, we also can't access a variable if it's created outside of a function or class. Well, we'll talk about that in another tutorial, but we can't automatically do it. There are methods, and again, we'll talk about that later, on how to access uh, variables that aren't within the scope. But for now, uh, let's just show you an example of a variable that is outside of a function and then trying to access it within one. So we just do uh, var2 here. Or actually, let's just do, yeah, oh no, var2 is fine. And we'll set it equal to outside, 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 semicolon, come down. We'll set this var1 to inside. Then what we'll do is we'll print var2 right here. And before we continue, what we'll, I'll do is just save it and run this and show you that it's not going to allow us to print that out. So it says var2 in, this is the, the file name, on line 6. So we come here, we can't access variable 2. So what we do is we change this to 1, and we will be able to access it on the inside. If we come down here, we'll just uh, output, we'll just print out, because they're now outside of the function, we can do print var2. Shrink this a little bit so we can see everything. Save it and inside and then the outside. Okay? So I just wanted to show that from two different sides from not being able to access it from the inside and not being able to access something that's inside from the outside. And again, we'll talk about that later, but for now, I just wanted to make sure that that was clear. All right, my name is Jake. I'm gonna continue doing these little quick tutorials because I feel like the 10 minute long ones and up are a little bit too long. And I like to just do uh, more bite-sized tutorials going out or going forward. And uh, so I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.